Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, we need to keep talking about the Beverly Hills because Miss Diana Jenkins still in the middle of this storm and i'm not talking only about what is going on with garcelle i have some exclusive tea for you related to the jenkins all right but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this mess Hey, Dios mío. No. My friend, my soulmate, my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Can you Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Well, 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 Miss Diana Jenkins is in the middle of hot water right now, especially with everything that is going on with Garcelle Boy May. You know, you probably are watching, already watched my videos. Garcelle Voive's son, Jax, is being attacked by hundreds of bots, okay, on his Instagram account. Now, initially, it was a bunch of people saying a bunch of racist things, but it has been discovered that going into the accounts of many of these comments are actually fake accounts, which is leading everyone to believe that someone has paid any kind of bot company to leave all of these comments. Now, who have all this money? Well, you know, I mean, many of them, but people, I mean, Erica Jane is broke, so I don't think it's her. And, you know, Lisa Rena could also mean, some people say that Lisa Rena might be behind this, but a lot of people, for some reason, it's saying that it is Diana Jenkins, the one that is behind all of this, okay? Now, there are no proof, of course, like this is just her say, people saying that, it's, it's, that she's the one. Uh, every single housewife spoke against this, except for Diana Jenkins for a very long time, until recently, a couple hours ago, that actually like an hour ago of me doing this video uh that she actually posts something um kind of like condemning condemning the actions and then self-promoting an article that she wrote back in 2010 that honestly has nothing to do with the whole situation now this is coming especially after she was exposed by several pages bravo pages out there uh, that were saying that she has been watching all the stories of different accounts so she knew what was going on and for some reason she decided not to say absolutely anything so now they're saying maybe it's a little bit too too late you know but maybe she's trying to save herself we have no idea now let's continue this saga with the jenkins i gave you major tea about her yesterday so if you haven't watched that go rewind you know yesterday and the day before go look for the exclusives because it is right there and now for this one apparently the jenkins meaning diana and asher are being person non grata for everyone people are distancing themselves from them okay according to this Asher and Diana has been certified a persona non grata in the music industry because the labels are worried that his alleged connections to Diana Jenkins and Jeffrey Epstein will make him a liability. Asher receives royalties every time he performs an original song on the show and production was asked if they could help position him as a star girl a star of what like no one has hear uh, <laughs> from him ever um they did but none of the labels worth signing him want him one label has shown interest until the bot farm attack on jacks garcel boy Vey son this week some of his friends um some of his friends are even afraid to appear with him on camera because they are afraid of what could happen 
if Diana's trafficking allegations become headline news, okay? So this is the thing. Of course, everything that is related to Diana Jenkins is still a rumor, you know? Rumors that are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, you know? And this is the point when you say like, how dumb are you that you have all these shit these skeletons in the closet and you are joining a reality show but you know what history repeats herself it happened with the judices it happened with erica jane it happened with jen shaw of course now it's gonna happen again you know so it's like oh girl so but anyways it's still a lot of rumors but people are now becoming very cautious because everyone who was related to erica jane has been receiving the cold shoulder out here in Beverly Hills, okay? So now imagine being with someone like Diana Jenkins who allegedly is connect or was connected to Jeffrey Epstein. Like that could like really, really ruin your reputation out there, you know? So even though all these people are being friends behind closed doors, they really don't want to be seen with Diana or Asher anymore, okay? We, time will tell, you know? I mean, honestly, like always, if we don't have real proof, it's very hard, you know, to establish absolutely everything. But remember what I always said and repeated with me, Rumors, you should not believe them 100%, but they are always there for a reason, you know? Which means that maybe the rumor is not exactly what we're hearing. Maybe everything is a variation of the original rumor. Maybe something happened and, you know, changed. A lot of things could happen. But especially giving this and her past and her, you know, Madame Diana past and the Room 23 book uh, situation and all of that, people are, you know, are starting to get curious. And when you join Bravo, girl, you know, you are getting eyes and ears everywhere. So absolutely everyone is going to talk. I don't understand how these people don't get that this is not like a random a uh, reality show on like MTV that nobody watches. This is actually the biggest reality shows right now and everyone is involved in this, you know? So we're gonna have to wait and see what is gonna happen with those two. But for now, people are starting to distance himself, themselves from the Jenkins. So let's see what is gonna happen. In the meantime, guys, let me know what you think on the comments below. Are you surprised with this behavior? Uh, do you think that Diana Jenkins might be behind the bot attack? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.